Come on, baby. Don't let me down. Something wrong? You look so sad right now. No, nothing's wrong. Oh, well, I guess you're sort of hard to read sometimes when you turned around. I mean, I don't know what it was. It's just seeing you. I never get used to how beautiful you are. Your uh, Senor Cruz is a very lucky man. I think most of the times I feel like the lucky one. Does that sound crazy from somebody sitting in a wheelchair? No, not at all. Anyway, uh, sometimes you have to be just a little bit crazy in order to make sense out of all the madness. Well, I have to go. Eden, before you go, I have something I'd like to talk to you about. Well, do you think it could wait? Somebody's waiting for me. Cruz, you can say his name. Yes, well, I don't want to keep him waiting. Could you find me in the morning and we can talk then? Sure, no problem. I'm sorry, I, I really didn't have any right to... Uh... No, I'm sorry. Look, if you want to talk, we can talk if it's important. You... No, not at all. Uh, you go on to Cruz. He's waiting for you. Don't play very fair. Hey, we're in advertising. It's against the rules. You see, we adhere to a very strict code of unethical behavior. Uh, no, listen, seriously. We don't want to push you into anything you don't feel good about. But it's fun, and the money's not bad, so... Well, what do you think? Oh, well, it's your decision, but I say go for it. <laughs> All right, then we're going to go for All it. Right. Right. Yeah, Jake, 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 I guarantee you in a month from now, there will not be one young lady or old lady, for that matter, on either coast God. who will not have incorporated you into a, a major part of their fantasy lives. Anyway, we're going to start this thing at the Summer Fest right here in Santa Barbara. It's going to be the official launching of the Beast campaign. Woo! Here you go. Congratulations. Yes. Hey, thank All the best. Uh, now, I think we should get back to the office now that we scared this man to death, uh, so I can spread the news of how I landed this contract. How you landed the contract? I think you're getting things twisted around here, honey. Nice to see you again, Haley. Yeah. Jake, keep in yeah. touch. We'll see you Bye. Again. We'll talk to you Bye. tomorrow. Bye. Um, I think you think this was your idea from the beginning. <laughs> Say good night, Gracie. Good night. Oh, Gracie. <laughs> Whoa, Haley, I'm telling you, you and I were going to go places here. Whew. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Things have kind of changed, you know. Well, what are you talking about? I've never been around a celebrity before. I mean, I don't know what... What do I call you, Mr. Morton or Mr. Beast? <laughs> you know, I don't think I would have had the nerve to go through any of this if you hadn't been there with me. You are just nervous because it's something new. Jake Morton, you are going to feel like you've been doing this forever. Well, I hope so. You can stick with me? All the way. Mm. So, what are you going to do with your first million? <laughs> I don't know about that, but with the first thousand, you and I are going to shop. Come on. What? Come on. Where are we going? <laughs> Wait. If I were you, I wouldn't sneak up on me. Oh, come on, we need to talk. Didn't I tell you not to get into contact with me, that I would find you? I was important. I had to take the chance. I don't pay you to take chances. All I want of you is Mason Capwell's signature on that document. That's it. Now, why the hell are you here? I was starting to hate my job. I mean, people assume that Indians like the heat. Well, I hate it. Besides, the conditions are uh, not very tolerable. Have you been drinking? Oh, come on, that's just another myth about my people. I'm here because I have not made any progress. You have underestimated Capwell's tolerance for pain. It's quite high. Why don't you just forge his signature and let me kill him? Because handwriting can be verified. 
And the courts don't take very kindly to forged signatures. Tina, why is this so important to you? I mean, what is the connection? be a little forward and ask you for the first dance. <laughs> this is all so beautiful. Baby, this is nothing. You are beautiful. I think you should put me down. <laughs> younger, my uh, spiritual training consisted of memorizing my catechism, trying to be on time to choir practice. It wasn't until I met you, darling, that I really started to understand about the beauty of the human spirit, about its strength and its durability. Case in point, do you remember the uh, week we spent at the Chateau? I could never forget it. The legend of Count Edward and his lady Anne. Yes, How they used to roam the castle at night and the battlements in the gardens. Hand in hand, drowning in love. Yeah, well, they were there with us. Remember the night we were dancing, supposedly alone in the wine cellar? I felt them with us. Yes, they were there. Well, we can drink to Anne and Edward. To their great everlasting love. And to ours. What a beautiful ring. Why don't you put it on? You know, if you really are getting bored or unamused with your job, I can have you reassigned permanently. It is your choice, lady. I still don't know why you're going to such great lengths. Uh, I mean, this document. Eleonora, what are you doing here so late? Well, Pearl, since you so unceremoniously declined my dinner invitation, oh. I decided to stay here and do some paperwork. Uh -huh. uh, but what about you, Pearl? I thought you'd gone home. What about me? Oh, well, you know me. I'm just tying together some loose ends. Oh, yeah? On what case? What case? Oh, it's a, it's a real puzzler, a mystery. The case of the missing wonton. An hour after you finish it, you got to start in all over again. Now, if you'll excuse me. My friends and I, we have something to do. You fool. How dare you risk everything that I have worked for. Now you get back to work. 
And if you let Mason die before he has signed that document, your history, do you hear me? Now you get out. I'm sorry. I, I was looking for my father. I thought he was in here. Oops. Caught in the act. <laughs> what do you mean? I guess I was living life vicariously. You were looking out at the gazebo. What? <clears throat> You were watching Eden and Cruz, weren't you? Yep, guilty as charged. I couldn't help myself, though. I... When I saw your sister all dressed up and looking so radiant, I don't know, it triggered off something really deep inside me. You were in love with her, weren't you? You still are. I cared very deeply for your sister in a very special way. That part hasn't changed. But how can you be sure, Kane? I mean, you've been sick. And you yourself admitted that things are not very clear in your mind right now. I'm sure I have feelings for her. Feelings? How strong feelings? Strong? Love? Yes. I'm sure that, that you've felt love before for somebody. I mean, everybody has. But I think those feelings can be misleading. They're so elusive. I know from my experience. Maybe, maybe what you're feeling for her is affection and gratitude. No, 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 you... no, no. It's more than that. Have you ever found yourself sort of just going down a road? I mean, you really don't even know why you're going down that road. And then suddenly, like off in the distance, you see something that catches your eye and, and you get closer to it and closer to it. And then there it is, just right there in front of you, that one special thing. And it, it's just an accident that you found it. That's my love for Eden. And I know it's real. Do you know or remember how, how Eden feels about you? She must feel something for me or she wouldn't have brought me here to the house. Well, I don't know. But I think maybe you should ask her. Because there's only one man Eden loves. And that's Cruz. What do you think? Wow, well, uh, you're a knockout. Thank you. oh, <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Great. If I may. The cut of this dress shows off your figure beautifully. It's from one of our top designers, an original. Oh, that must mean top designer price tag as well. Oh, not necessarily. This particular item has been in our shop for quite some time now, so we're going to be selling it at a reduced price. Actually, I think $700 is quite reasonable when you consider the label. <laughs> sure. Um, this is a lovely dress. Uh, but, you know, I, I really like to see others, if you wouldn't mind, before I make up my mind. <laughs> okay, certainly. Uh, thank you. Oh, quick, let's get out of here before she comes back, Jake. <laughs> Why? Why? This is $700. Yeah, let me worry about how much it costs, all right? Look, we came in here to buy the best dress money can buy, and we're not going to leave without it. No, no, you, you are crazy. You are crazy. I... This money's gotten to you. That's it. It's gotten to your head. And I'm not going to be the first one to take advantage of you. Why don't we walk out here and go find a nice bank where we can put the money away <laughs> so you'll have money for tuition? That's not very much fun, is it? Why are you being so stubborn anyway? I'm not being stubborn. I... Money makes me nervous. Okay, a lot of money makes me nervous. It can change people. And you're afraid that I'm going to change, huh? Darling, listen to me. I mean, it's just me, Jake. I'm not gonna change. Okay? Okay. Kane, I'm not trying to hurt you. I just think you should know how things are with Eden. She's a remarkable woman. Yes, she is. And a very caring and compassionate one. That's why you're here. 
That's why it was so important for her to bring you here and for you to have a home. It was for her way to repay you for everything you've done for her. Eden knows she doesn't have to do that. Her getting well is all I have wanted. Eden's not like that, though. It's not her style to take anything for granted, especially when she sees that someone else is in trouble. But if you're thinking that her bringing you back here is more than that, I'm afraid you're reading too much into it. Now, she's grateful to you, I know, but don't mistake the gratitude for love. And what are you saying, that you just feel sorry for me? No, Because no. that's not true. There's something between us. I just can't get a fix on it. I mean, why else would she have brought me into the house after I held a gun on her? I mean, that'd be crazy and, unless she felt something for me. I just wish I knew what that was. Because whatever happened between us up in the mountains there, I know you felt it too. But then why are you out there with him? preliminaries, do you? I thought I was supposed to be wined and dined. Before the proposal, not after. Well, I suppose that's right. I guess I just thought we could dispense with the preliminaries just this once, seeing you know, as how you and I have been through so much together. Cruz, I'm going to try to make you understand. I don't want to hurt you. This is so beautiful. The candles and the flowers and the ring. It's so beautiful, but it's not real. It's a fantasy life that you've created, a, a perfect world where we can be happy. If I married you now, how long would this fantasy last? The first time I fell out of my chair or the times that I would need you and you would be gone, or all the times when I would be too weak and you'd have to do things for me. How long could we live in that fantasy world before reality made a difference? Eden, what is real is how we feel about each other. That hasn't changed, and it's not going to change ever. I love you more than anything on this earth. And God knows I need you, too. The rest of it doesn't matter. It does matter. It matters to me. I haven't accepted my life the way it is. I hate the way I am. And after a while, I would hate you for pretending that I'm normal when we both know I'm not. OK. OK. Can we talk about what you're really afraid of? Please, I want to go in. No, here. wait, no, no, listen to me. I love you. Please. I love you. And I'm going to keep on loving you till the day I die. Even if I never get to see you again, if I never get to touch you again. If you doubt that, you should take a moment to think about what we've already been through. You, you're going to throw that away? I know what we've shared. If you think I can stop remembering, you're crazy. <laughs> the love we felt for each other, how we were always there for each other. What it felt like to lie in your arms, making love to you. I don't know how you can continue to love me. Remembering how special our lives are, 
when the possibility of what you remember no longer exists. This person that's sitting here may no longer be able to make love to you ever again. I don't know who told you that we can't make love again, but they're out of their minds. I know we can, and I know it'll be as beautiful as it ever was, if not more so. How do you know? How do you know we'll be that lucky? That things will be just the way they've always been? Baby, I'm not expecting nor am I asking for things to be the way they have always been. I know they're going to be different and I want them to be. I have tried everything I can think of to let you know how I feel. Everything except taking you in my arms. I want to make love again. I don't know if I can. Eden, if you give in to your fear, you'll be carrying it around with you for the rest of your life. Baby, you've got to take a chance. You know, if you need more time, you know, I'll be willing to give you all the time in the world. You want me to come back in an hour? It's not enough time. I know, I know. Okay, I don't want to be pushy. How about tomorrow? Okay? Let me say, Eden, listen. Seriously, we can take a picnic basket to that cove at the beach where nobody else knows about it. It'll be great. I'll put a bottle of wine in there, a little cheese, a loaf of bread. It'll just be the two of us. We can be together alone. Just say yes. I can't. have it now. I don't know. I'm just too scared. No, no. To tell you the truth, I'm a little bit scared myself. Why don't you hold on to this and keep it safe for the both of us? a lot stronger than you realize. And I know we're gonna come through this together. I love you. my reasons that they seemed important enough at the time and what changed i guess i did you know, when kelly came into my life along with all the other cap worlds i a very very formidable force in the beginning but uh really pretty extraordinary people once you get to know them i i guess what i'm trying to say here is that with the rich and the mighty always a little patience huh hmm. and all the privileges to the privileged uh, if you'll excuse, I'm just going to give Kelly a call, see what's keeping her. Jeffrey, hey, how you doing? Okay. Lena? What are you doing here? I was looking for you. 
I ran into Dr. Glass, who said that you missed your appointment. Would you mind telling me why? Hi, Kelly. Hi. Dress is beautiful. We did good, huh? Yeah, I want to get it all packed up. It's Jeffrey seen it once. I don't want to take any more chances. Well, I don't think those superstitions will apply with you and Jeffrey. I think you're going to have a perfect wedding and a wonderful life together. Any chance of us waiting out for a double wedding? Oh, well, I appreciate the sentiment, but I don't think it's the time to make plans like that. Well, I can wait, as long as you don't wait too long. <laughs> Listen, um, I need to talk to you about something. Kane was in here earlier. Eden, he's in love with you. And he has been ever since you two were up in the mountains together. Well, the day I've been dreading is finally here, I guess. You mean you knew and you didn't do anything about it? What could I do? Well, don't you think it was a mistake to bring him here knowing how he feels? Kelly, I need him. And he needs me. We are helping each other. The man is in love with you. You're not going to just forget this. He's not going to forget. I'm sorry if I'm interrupting. I was looking for Eden. Do you want me to stay? Uh, no. That's okay. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Bye, sweet. Bye. So did she tell you what we were talking about earlier? Yes, she did. Kane, I know you've been through a lot, and I have too, and I know there are some things that aren't straight in your mind. No, no, I'm very straight on this. This is the one thing that is absolutely clear. I loved you, and I still do. I don't think you should say things that you're going to be sorry for later, Kane. I know what I'm saying. And my feelings for you haven't changed. I just need to know if yours have. No, I, I have feelings for you. They're just not the same ones that you think you have for me. Let me ask you something, then. Up in the cabin... I don't know. I mean, I know there's so much I, I, I should be remembering that I'm not, but... I have the feeling I did something to you up there that hurt you. Why do you say that? Well, just now, when I told you I loved you, you looked scared, like, like you were a trapped animal. Or... No, I'm not scared of you. I was, but I'm not anymore. Then why am I so scared? What is there about my love for you that's scares me so much. I don't know, Kane. I think that's something that you have to answer yourself. Eden. The child is in trouble. I really don't understand why all the fuss. I missed one appointment with a psychiatrist. It's no big deal. Something came up to work. Something more important than your emotional health, Elena. Oh, my God, Daddy. I am not ready for a straitjacket. I thought the sessions with Dr. Glass were, were helping you. They are. They're going terrifically. Then why the pretense? Why didn't you tell Jeffrey that I am your father? Don't you think he has a right to know that? Certainly. He has every right in the world. Then why the secrecy? Everything in its own time. Elena. I love you, and I would do anything in the world to make you happy, but you're not being honest. You're not being honest with me. You're not being honest with yourself. I don't know what you mean. Keeping your identity a secret from everyone. Now, I don't know what you're planning or what you have in mind, but I'm telling you, I'm frightened for you. There's nothing to be concerned about, really. Dr. Glass and I will work it all out. <laughs> I really want to say this nicely, but you are interfering. Is there anything I can do to help you? No. This is something that I have to do on my own, and Dr. Glass says that if I push too hard, all this anger that I've been storing up all these years just might come out. 
And then, who knows what might happen? Someone might get hurt. And we wouldn't want that to happen, would we? <laughs> you bucking for a raise? What are you doing here at this hour? Hey, but how are you? What, what am I doing? What are you doing? What happened to your bed? big night with Eden? Mm -hmm. I just came from there. And? And what? What do you mean, what? Uh, details, details. That's what I look for. Well, it was all right, actually. In fact, it was better than all right. We got a lot of things out in the open, finally, and I don't think there's anything out there that's going to shoot us down. Oh, good. That's great news. Oh, I hate the people. Her proverbial rain that falls upon your parade butt. What's up? What's up? Well, I came here a little, uh, a little bit late. Eleanor was still here. She didn't expect to see me, right? I walk in. She acts a little surprised, like maybe she covers something up. So she took off. I came back in, did a little private investigating on my own. Look at this. Look at my phone right here. Take a look at that. Our own little Mata Hari in our backyard's been pretty busy. Maybe she doesn't know that the wiretapping is against the law, huh? Look at that! Yeah, well... Yeah, well, you know, maybe she's, uh, using it on a case. That's very clever. A case? Whose case? Your case? Eden's case? Kane's case? Maybe all three, well, huh? She's a pretty resourceful lady. What do you think the connection is? I don't know, and I don't care what the connection is. If you ask me, you ought to just give her the boot, huh? No severance, no notice, no gold watch, no nada. Pearl, I don't agree. Uh, we're never going to find out what she's up to if we don't keep her close. You got to look real close, man. She's a smart lady. So we'll have to be smarter, won't we? If she's not careful, I think Ms. Norris is going to regret the day she ever set foot in this town. I am glad to have you to myself at last. Hello? Are you in there? You've been a million miles away all night. What's I know, wrong? I know. I just haven't been able to stop thinking about Kane. Were you afraid that he's going to spoil Eden's chances of getting back together with Cruz? Well, it worries me, yes. Uh, can I can I give you a little bit of advice here? Stay out of it. Oh. Stay out. I know how much you love Eden, and she's a big girl now. She can take care of her own life and her love. Well, I don't think I can do that, Jeffrey. I mean, every instinct I have tells me to be involved, especially where my family's concerned. Yeah, well, I think that's ingrained in the Capwell family code somewhat. Yes, well, let me tell you something else. I think that Kane is trying to take advantage of her vulnerability, and I don't like it. I don't think Cruz will let that happen, do you? I hope not. No, Cruz still believes there's a happy ending for him and Eden. Hey, will you stop worrying about your sister and start concentrating on us? You gotta promise me that you will be with me every single day. I want you to promise me that you will be my wife. I will be your wife forever and always to the end of time. Touch me. What? 
I mean, what are you doing? Wait, wait, let's talk about this. Wait a second. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Look, just because it didn't work out this time, it doesn't, we got all the time in the world. No, we don't. This was a mistake. The wedding, everything, was all a big, empty, stupid, humiliating experience. That's not true. Time you know is not a friend to us anymore. What are we going to do with time? You're going to sit here and you're going to watch me grow old in a wheelchair while you're chained to me like a nursemaid? I swore this is something you would never have. An invalid for a wife. Someone who can't even feel the touch of her own husband. I won't have it. I won't have that for you. I can't accept this one, it's too much. No, I want you to, Jake. Please have it. You taught me a lot today. You made me realize that it's not the things themselves that are important, it's the act of giving. And showing the person that you care about them. And I want to show you that I care about you. Well, I promise you that I'll Hold on to this and treasure it. And you. For the rest of my life. Yeah, well, I want it kept under wraps, man. It's it's for somebody. Okay, but I'm I'm leaving this up to you. Fair enough. Yeah, thanks. Bye. So I thought you'd gone home by now. Hey, pal, I'm on my way. You coming? No, Pearl. Mm -hmm. I think I'll walk home tonight. I got oh. the feeling I could walk all night and not get blisters, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think so. You should uh, bottle that emotion. You'd make a fortune. And the looks on that uh, sappy grin of yours on your face, uh, something's going on, huh? It's the wind, you know? It's blowing our way for a change. I think things are finally turning around for Eden and I. And it's going to be something to remember, man. Hey, I just want another chance, really. To what? To run off? No, a chance to show you how much I love you. That's right. I love you, Kane. Eden, you lied to me. Why? Hello? Did I wake you? No, I couldn't sleep. Good. I got a proposition for you. Chris, listen, it's kind of late. Yeah, I know, but well, just, just a second. This will only take a second. I just want to ask you something. I want you to be my date for the Summerfest. No, no, thanks. Well, now, wait a second. You, uh, you don't know what I got planned for this. You got to give me a chance here. This, this is going to be great. I mean, I promise you this will be a date neither one of us will ever forget. I don't know. You don't know? That's great. That's progress. You don't know. That's right around the corner from yes. I, I've been thinking a lot about tonight, and I... I know how hard this is for you. But baby, you just gotta trust me because it'll pay off real big if you take a little bit of a chance, you know, and I'm just I'm just talking about asking you for one date. I mean, that's not that much, is it? Look, I really can't answer you right now. And you said you'd be patient with me. I think I just need some more time.
America's farm mess. Too many farmers working marginal land, producing too many crops, and collecting too many taxpayer dollars. Tonight on NBC Nightly News.